Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In May 2021, the Indian Army had showcased the Summer Air Defense System to PM Narendra Modi and may be called as the first version of Summer, that is Summer 1. Two Wemple R-73E air to missile can be seen placed on ZIL-131 6x6 truck and consists of an electro-optical system on each missile launcher. Now, during the Defense Expo 2022, we could see the same Summer 1 but mounted on Ashok Leland Stallion 4x4 truck. The R-73 is export version of R-73 short-range infrared homing missile having a maximum range of 30 km with 8 kg of warhead. However, the missile will have less range when fired from summer as it is being launched from ground and it will not have the advantage of attitude and initial velocity of the aircraft. The Summer 1 missile, uh, which is R-73, is reported to have a range between 10 to 12 km and have been found quite effective against slow and low moving aerial targets. The Indian Air Force has also showcased its own version of Summer during Defense Expo 2022, which can be called as Summer 2. The Indian Air Force model has been developed by Indian Air Force 7 Base Repair Depot and 11 Base Repair Depot in partnership with private firm Simran Flotec Industries. The air defense system has been developed using Russian Wimpel R-27 ET-1 air twin missile with thermal guidance. The Summer 2 air defense is mounted on 8x8 Tatra 815 truck that contains two missiles, one on each launcher. The missile system can be easily hidden under the foldable roof of the truck. However, this concept is not new. Yemni Rebel Group has also used R-27ET as surface-to-air missile defense system. In March 2018, it was reported that a Royal Saudi Arabian Air Force F-15 fighter jet was intercepted by a surface-to-air missile while flying over the northern Yemen on 21st March. Ansar Allah from Yemen Rebel Group claimed to hit a coalition aircraft over Sada with an surface-to-air missile on the same day. He supported the claim by releasing video footage where an R-27T air to missile can be seen launched from a ground launcher and apparently hitting an aircraft that was then seen trailing a plume but not crashing. The R-27 ET-1 is an infrared homing but extended range and export version of R-27E. The missile is a medium-range air to missile with infrared homing head and designed to engage various targets such as high maneuverable aircraft, helicopters, by day and night and under any meteorological conditions. The R-27 ET-1 has a maximum range of 80 km when launched from an aircraft. It is expected to have a range of approximately 20 km when launched from summer. The missile has a warhead of 39 kg. The Indian Air Force has procured good number of R-73E and R-27ET-1 missiles for its Russian origin fighters such as Su-30 MKI, MiG-29 and MiG-21. However, the aging air-to-air missiles are prone to malfunction and may risk pilots' life. The 7BRD has refurbished these missiles and integrated with summer so that they can be used from ground-based launchers. The low-cost refurbishment has given the missile a new life, which are near end to their shelf life and also negates the possibility of hazard related to the missile. Summer can act as a second line of defense after VLSR-SAM and can even protect the armored column against UAVs equipped with anti-tank guided missile. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.